What's up guys? This is video number three on covering an Aronka sedan. I'm gonna go ahead and play the video. We have a, a time-lapse video of uh, covering the right side. But you can see some of the uh, quick details, you know, cutting around the door um, as well as around the window. Um, one thing I can say is when you're going around the window, if it has uh, any type of channel or anything like that really take your time get enough glue in there and uh, get the fabric to lay down in there really flat in this case the window uh, goes in there so you don't want to have fabric bridging over that channel you want to go into the channel and as flat as possible that I start ironing that one side I basically iron it to 150 try to get all the wrinkles out that way I can have a nice smooth surface for uh, the fabric to overlap once I start covering the other side. Uh, here we are covering the other side. It's always a lot easier if you have some help. There's really no easy way of uh, visualizing this. You just got to lay out the fabric, look at it, and then just get after it. Yeah, what I do is right around the window trim and then one of the stringers i'll pre-coat that wood with polytech okay i'll do two coats of polytech right over the wood and then let it dry okay later on um, you can take some mek and rub it over the fabric it'll reactivate the polytech and it'll basically clamp down uh, the fabric or tack weld it so it doesn't shift on you. You can see uh, Don doing exactly that uh, on the window and on the stringer. Then I get started with covering. Uh, I start on the bottom first and then you can see a little bit of where I kind of tack that stringer with some MEK um, and right over the polytact area where we pre-coated. Uh, you can see here I turned the fuselage on uh, on its side. That's the belly of it. That's where fabric is going to come around and overlap fabric. Okay, the rule there is one inch of overlap. Okay, so you can see that I just take a one inch brush, brush into the belly, and then I'm gonna take a squeegee and, or my hand, squeegee or, or my hand to just kind of glue the fabric into that belly, um, minimum of one inch. You can go more than one inch, but the minimum is one inch. So there's a squeegee there, try to keep it wrinkled free. Another thing you could do is if you have some wrinkles, take the iron and it's kind of like heat forming, get the wrinkles out in that glued area. You want that super smooth so you can draw your line and trim it uh, later on down the road. Okay, I'll make relief cuts and then I'll continue to glue all the way down the belly and trying to keep it as smooth as possible. Once you got it there, you can see uh, that I'll draw my line, draw the line, put a little bit of polytech on that line, take a razor blade and do the razor blade trick that we like to do and trim off perfectly straight line that it's about one inch um, of material overlapping material right on that belly section. Um, you can see the side of the fuselage where, you know, I have some wrinkles. Obviously, I haven't started shrinking, but there we go. We start shrinking. What I do with the iron is jump around uh, into different sections, okay? 
you don't want to create a big wrinkle on one end just kind of go and put the iron next to a wrinkle that draws the fabric into the iron and it'll start to take the wrinkles away once i have a smooth surface by jumping around then i'll you know crank it up and and once again you start at 250 to begin with get it smooth once everything looks good then you crank it up to 350 and really shrink the entire fabric um, with 350 and take your time go as slow as possible let the heat do the work so you can see there where I'm fighting uh, some of the wrinkles just trying to make the smooth surface um, in some cases uh, you got to take the iron up a little more than than 250 but definitely sneak up on it do maybe 300 get it smooth and then crank it to 350 for the final shrinking. If you like these videos, please subscribe, uh, follow us, and we're going to keep posting more videos on the process uh, for the Aranka sedan. So I'll see you on the next one.